we're back with another great marvelous review. Why do I do this? Oh, that's right. That's right, because I'm a... Right there, I told you my whole life story. Why I had my nights free. Didn't start this way. It's kind of like Batman Begins. Many a long years ago, Richie was a married man. Family. We're not going to talk about how that ended. I mean, it wasn't like the, it didn't end like in the movie The Shining. It just it ended like in the movie. Um, kind of like Godfather, except I got whacked. My life got whacked. My bank account got whacked. My uh, custody got whacked. Well, fathership and then whatever. What I'm trying to say is, um, if you're wearing a penis right now and you were born a male on your birth certificate, you're fucked. And even if you got money, you're fucked. Because then if you get married, then it's just gonna be more of an expensive divorce. You got more shit to lose. Can't stress that enough. We got a super gordo. It's a Honduran Puro, it's Aladino. I haven't had this one. I thought it was a new one. It's not, but it's new to me. It came out about two years ago. Not even two years ago, because they're out August 2022. So, a year, like nine months? New to me. Not nudity, new to me. New to me, new to me, new to me. New to me. It's got a full pack, feels light for its size. Uh, supposedly it's less Corojo forward for Honduran Puro. Um, I don't know nothing about it besides that, never had it. They had it in two sizes, Toro for $10.60, six by 50. And Super Gordo, 6.5 by 60, sweet Lord, for $11. And you know me, I'd rather have the smaller gauge every time. But for 40 cents to go from six by 50 to 6.5 by 60, the 40 cents in me was like, God, how could I, I feel like I was getting ripped off the Toro. They're basically giving away the Gordo. Now here's the real reason too though. Um, I never had an Aladino Gordo and this is a super Gordo. So we're gonna find out if Aladino can make a six by 60, even though it's a size that most people um, shouldn't make. It's kind of a stupid size, but if you can make stupid good, you can make normal good. That's my reasoning, which makes no sense. Honduran Puro, 40 cents difference, six and a half by 60. I like it, I like it, I like it. Comfortable. 60% darkness, almost 65 between there though. Um, feels like a little darker than like in Connecticut. It's listed as a Honduran Puro, as some, with some Corojo, but I don't know, whatever the fuck. We can assume the Toro 6x50 with that smaller gauge. We saw them off with a half inch shorter. We would have started off a little stronger, give or take, who knows, but probably guarantee it. It's got a long finish, not super heavy, but sticking. Very nutty, almost peanut butter. Creamy nuts. Like AP on a Peloton on a Saturday night and a bottle of red chilled wine. This cigar is looking to get down. It's a comfortable cigar, it's sweatpants. It's sweatpants on a Tuesday afternoon. I can't stress that enough and you pulled out sick. Nutty creaminess, peanut butter, black pepper. Dry cedar. Very little earth, if any, with a light coffee note. That's what's going on, but the way it's hitting, it's comfortable. If you're looking for something that you like, Connecticut's, but you want something different, I mean, probably rather have this profile than over at Connecticut. Yeah, it's a winner. I'm not gonna say this is a banger or like box worthy, but um, comfortable, enjoyable, affordable. God, I feel like I'm selling something in the 80s. Comfortable, affordable, this summer, enjoyable. 
great construction, solid ash. I was gonna drop that ash, but uh, I didn't get. Let's drop the ash. Well, that thing fell faster than Enron. Toastiness, creamy, vanilla. It feels like a Honduran, Connecticut tweak with a little bit of Corojo. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. Slight black pepper, a nice light coffee note, a uh, nice cedar note. I got the, it's like if you wanted a slightly darker Connecticut, Honduran style, with a little a splash of Corojo, a splash. Corojo, real light. Comfortable. Well, we're done. Down to the Nubaru and uh, made that shit up. I enjoyed it, it's a 4.5, solid mid-tier cigar. Had a good price for a Gordo, had a lounge, definitely cheaper on the internet, but um, I enjoyed it. It was quality made, it was a good comfortable blend. If you're looking for a cigar to relax with, with enough flavor and strength to not bore you at all. Uh, and this is in Super Gordo. Yeah, you put this in the uh, Toro in a 50 gauge, in 1.7 miles, turn right onto East Linden Boulevard. What the hell? Can you guys hear that? Anyways, um, I guess my map was on. At the light, turn right. I don't want everyone to know where your sister lives. Shit. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon. Be good. 4.5 for Geo 4.51. I enjoyed it.